We're talking barbell storage. If you're in this for the fitness and the movements, maybe this video doesn't apply. If you're a gym owner, garage gym owner, that classifies as a gym owner, then maybe this will help out. We've been storing barbells for a few years. We have a few different options that we use here. So let's talk about it. We're starting with a rack from Rogue that is a horizontal mounted rack. So you see the barbell is in a horizontal position. Now, this is the best way to store the barbell. You don't get any unevenness by storing it vertically and really weighting down one of the shafts, having all the oil drip down to one side. However, this takes up a lot of space. So it is not a space saver at all. You need a wall and in CrossFit or garage gyms, wall space is hard to come by because you like to do other things on that wall. But if you have the availability, I would try to go with this horizontal mounted rack. Now, uh, we installed this one, love it, use it once in a while. It's in an office, so we used to store specialty barbells back here. The one improvement would be possibly making these a little bit more friendly for the barbell so you don't get any scraping. As you can see, this area is fairly sharp, so very sturdy, super thick metal, but if you're not careful on there, there's no padding, so it might hurt the barbell. We don't want hurt barbells. Now, these are the two main barbell storage options that we use here for the gym. So it's vertical storage, stores nine barbells. They're fairly standard. We have the ones from Rogue. People can, you can buy them off Amazon for a little bit cheaper. Um, one thing I would recommend as I zoom in and show you a closer shot, this is their older model. I don't believe they make them like this, but it is hard to fit the barbell in. So you'll see a lot of this after a cloud. loud, it's obnoxious, and there's no sleeve for that barbell to go in. So also promotes a little bit of wear and tear on the shaft of that barbell. Newer model, um, which when I say newer, I mean we got these probably three or four years ago, has a sleeve or a shaft for that barbell, as you can see when I show you the underneath portion of it. So when you would slide the bar in, all you need to do is get the top right, and then it slides back in. As you can see, we have the clip stored on top of the barbells. This is something we hadn't done before, but we started to do post COVID, during COVID, just so everyone could clean them off. And they actually store fairly nicely in the vertical storage here with the clips on. Then the barbells are all set and it's not another thing people are going to get. Now, uh, these are just cheap clips. Maybe it stretches them out slightly uh, over time. That's not a big concern for us. Uh, much easier though when you get that barbell that you just have your clips with you. The last storage option we have is just this simple uh, four bar vertical hanger. We got it off Amazon. I believe it was about half the price as Rogue was charging for a very similar product. For us, it's lasted well. We've had it up for a few months. It's easy in and out with the bars. As I noted before, it does put a lot of stress and pressure on the sleeve of that as we mount it and unmount it. Easy to get in and out though, safely stores the bars. The wall space here would end up being a lot if we were to take that up with the horizontal rack storage. We'll see how these bars fare. If anything starts to go wonky with them, then we'll obviously switch over to the horizontal one. But we found this was very economical, uh, especially for the garage gym option. You have a few bars. This was maybe 40, 45 bucks off Amazon, drilled into the wall, and then you got your bar storage looking sweet. Those are how we store our barbells. Uh, we have about 56 of them. And again, this is our main option. If you have any questions about the wear and tear, anything else that we do to maintain them or store them, please drop a comment below. If you have questions about how we store other things in the gym, let us know. Been around for about 10 years, so we have a lot of good ideas about how to store things in the gym or how it applies to your garage gym. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you. I hope you learned something about barbells and storage and things and life and fitness. Till next time.